Hello YouTubers. I'm going to do a video about installing an LED headlight on a 1987 Honda Goldwing 1200 Interstate and show you just a couple of the things that I ran into that were a little bit of a problem fitting it in there but it does fit in there eventually this one anyways this has uh, if you can see it on the package uh, it's a little different the bulb but it fits in there good as far as the assembly and the headlight but the room inside of the fairing where the headlight assembly fits into uh, is limited so I had to reroute the driver and I'll show you a little bit of how I did that and where I did it. It might help you to uh, put yours in if you got one or to uh, uh, determine if you're going to get one. Um, I'm going to scan this part and uh, that might take you to the website. I'm not sure of uh, if you want to consider buying one of these, it was like 50 bucks. Um, I'll look that up and put that somewhere too. Um, but anyways, uh, just show you a couple of the, the things that I ran into. If uh, you can see this any good, I got some light point on it. That's the driver. It's up in this pocket. And the wire runs down through where the old wire for the, uh, I'll explain that uh, in, in a little bit later in the video, but it's tight room, but it fits good and it runs good. So I'm going to uh, just do a little video about this H4 headlight replacement bulb. Uh, LED bulb for a Goldwing. This is a part of the modification for the LED headlight. Um, I'm going to be taking this off to make a hole bigger. I'll get you some light in there. That hole right there, I need to make it a little bit bigger this way down here and over that way to accommodate this part of the light and it's just a little bit too small I'm having to do guessing because I can't see anything in there at all when that headlight is in its hole I can't see anything back there I tried looking up through here on the sides I just can't so I'm guessing, but I'm going to elongate that hole. I got to go down, oh, probably to about there. Um, I'm going to take it down as far as I can. Better safe than sorry, but this is part of the modification that uh, I'm doing for the LED light. This is the controller power box it's the driver for the LED it doesn't get hot when it's on and I, had, I ran it up into this compartment because it wouldn't fit anywhere in here this light is so tight that it wouldn't fit underneath it on top of it on the side of it nowhere so I actually pushed this old connector for the light that used to plug in the back of the H4 used to come out through that hole well I pushed it up through there and pulled it before I put this in there so there was room and then I plugged in the driver for the LED light into there and then ran the driver back down through that hole pretty easy to get to actually and then I'm going to secure with a zip a wire tie from here to this just so this isn't so I mean it has it's pretty stable in there but I don't want it to move at all I don't think it'd be good for it but anyways that's part of what I'm doing right now well I really admire the people that do these videos it's 
kind of hard to get all set up. I have old camera stuff. But anyways, I'm going to make that hole bigger and try not to hit that. That's a, uh, that's the plug-in for the LED light to the driver. But I just have to elongate this hole, so let's watch how good I am. Double check and make sure there's no wires behind there. Now that stuff, that stuff I'm going to vacuum out because the uh, fan on the back of the LED sucks in to cool the light. And I don't want it sucking in any of this residual stuff. So all I'm using is a little cutting blade, cutting bit uh, for a Dremel tool or a rotary tool, they call it. But um, it cuts through this ABS pretty good. I'm not positive I went over far enough. Uh, but I certainly think I did. If I had to pull it out again, I'll do it. I won't be happy, but I'll do it. Oh, so that was cutting that out. I don't know if you can see it real well on the video. I'll get you up closer. But that's how much I elongated that that hole so that it accommodates the light. The biggest problem that I had was the wire on the bottom of the light uh, comes out here and I think it was it was just bumping it a little bit and I didn't want any stress on that wire and I'll show you what wire I'm talking about. There's the LED right there. There's the fan and it sucks in to cool. This is the thing that was touching on it a little bit, I do believe. But I modified the rubber that went around there too by cutting out just a little piece to make it fit around there well. Uh, then I slit this so it would fit around that. Then I put a really thin zip tie there's a ledge there that this fits on and it came in handy and I zip tied that otherwise this would just flop around because I had uh, compromised the uh, ability for this to stay attached and I, I just did this to keep dust out of there uh, I'm imagining that's why they did that at the factory uh, to keep dust out, out of the inside of the lens there's not a lot of space up in here for dirt. Once once this is all put together there's I don't think much dirt and dust gets up in there. But it's a pretty good fit and I'm really pleased with the modification and the, the ability to, to strap this on tight. It's not coming off or going anywhere and I won't have to take it off for a while. These lights are, are uh, said to have the life of um, let's see it said somewhere on here uh, I don't know one of these boxes said how many hours um, like 30,000 hours or something like that and that's I, I, I shouldn't have to ever change this light um, but I'll get to that I'll find it where, where it says how long it lasts and uh, and and put it post you know put it in the video here somewhere. Okay, thanks. What a mess, eh?
All right, here's the fun part. Like I told you, I'll set this up here just to keep the lens from scratching or anything. Now I'm going to plug this in after I get this. Now watch, I, I got to kind of maneuver this. There's not a lot of play in that cable for the light adjuster, so and I want to be careful of that LED. So now there's not a lot of room in there to get my hand. Let's see if this will give you more light. Get my hand in there to plug this in, and it's got to go in a certain way. And there's the flat. There's the flat inside. So uh, let's see. it's kind of tight, which I like, but it makes it a little challenging to get it tight on there. So it's right now. There's this little screw-on deal so it won't come apart and I screw it on a little and push it all the way there now man you guys that make videos are so patient you got to try to keep your hands out of the way and all that kind of stuff so that's pretty tight in there okay now for the magic part see if it goes in there without binding or anything I'm gonna take a quick look in there with my other flashlight just to make sure that it's gonna clear everything now I can put the top on it. Seemed to, uh, it was easier to put the, the top bracket on than, than do the bottom one. Because it's just got to be. Uh, then I'll show you the light on, hopefully without blinding you. Should I try the light before I tighten everything down? Yes, I should. There's the light. Yep. The baby is really bright. And I'm pleased with that. That's that. And the light comes on. And everything runs fine.